So we are, this is a question per sense, but we're finding the total this time. Okay? We're going to use the same approach, but this time we're finding the total. So you can see how the questions are a bit different. Um, so our learning goal, given the certain percent of a number, given the percent of a number, we can use proportional reasoning to see what the total was originally, okay? And we can apply this to problem solving as well. So here, this is an EQAO question. I just, just retyped it. Chris scored 35% of the basketball team's points. So here's 100, 35 is less than 50. So I'm going to put 35% here. So Chris scored 35% of the basketball team's points. If Chris scored 21 points, so he scored 35%, he also scored 21 points. So they both go here. How many points did the team score? So in other words, what's the total number of points? Okay. Still, when you use this graphic organizer, it still helps you make the proportion that you need. So once I get this written out properly, I can make my proportion, which is that 100 over 35 is equal to x over 21. Okay, I just have to remember that 35% of the points is 21 points. Okay? And then if I know that, I can cross multiply. 35x equals 2100 divide by 35 so 2100 divided by 35 is 60. so what does that mean that the team Therefore, the team scored 60 points. And then you should be able to ask yourself, does that make sense? Chris scored 21, that was 35%, less than half. The team scored 60. Okay, so half of that would be 30. Half of 60 is 30, so 21 makes sense. It's below the 50% mark, which most people can look at the 50% mark and um, make sense with the number, okay? It's a good benchmark to use. All right, so finding the total, remember. Lewis goes to a 20% off sale to buy a snowmobile suit. So 20% off sale to buy a snowmobile suit. He saves $48 off of the regular price. What is the regular price of the snowmobile suit? So 20% is pretty low down here compared to 100. And he saves, so his discount is the $48. So if 20% of that price was $48, what was the original price is what the question asks you. Okay. If you saved $48, which represents 20% of the price, what was the original price? So again, once you've got your whisker diagram figured out, you just convert it into a proportion. And then you can solve it by cross-multiplying. So 20x this time equals 4,800 divided by 20. And then always see if your answer makes sense for the question. You should be doing that with the ones we just did as well. So that means that the original price of the snowmobile suit was $240, okay? Again, halfway mark would be 120, 48 below that, so it makes sense, okay? So then we need to therefore, the regular price
of the snowmobile suit. is $240. Okay, and then make sure you answer the question, what is the regular price of the snowmobile suit? I saw lots of people underlining that, which is awesome. So you're looking for the question and making sure that you answer it when you do your airport statement. That's awesome. And then also, what's the first sentence? Make sure the answer makes sense to you. Okay. So here's just a basic question that's not a word problem. 40% of some number is 14. What is the number? So 40% is below halfway, but not too much below halfway. And it says 40% of a certain number is 14. So the 40% and the 14 are linked together. What is the number? What's 100% of the number? So 40% of the number is 14. What's 100% of the number? What is the total number? So once you make your diagram properly, you can make your proportion, so 100 over 40 is x over 14. Oops, I pressed green first, sorry. So 40x, find your x and multiply, is 1400. Divide by 40 35. So what is the number? Therefore, the number is 35. Okay, finding the total. So this time you're given the percent of the number and you want to know what the total was. Okay? Last time we were given the total and we had to figure out what the percent was. Percent off or what's going on. Alright, so for the next question, I'm going to pause it and you're going to try it out yourself. So 5%, I saw lots of people's diagrams with the 5 way down near the bottom, which was awesome. So that'll help you make sure your number makes sense. And it's 17245 And then X will be how much the house costs. Okay? Sorry? Thank you. Yeah, thanks. I can see it now. I've been doing that a lot lately. 425. Okay. So they made 17,425. How much does the house cost? You know it's going to be a lot more than that because house prices are pretty high right now. So 100 over 5 equals X over 17,425. That should be the proportion you made from the diagram. So if you do 5 times x, you get 5x. 100 times 17,425 is going to be 1,742,500 so divided by 5. Make sure you type it in right when there's all those numbers. $348,500. And 
And then how much did the house sell for? There for the house sold for $348,500. So that's a much bigger number than the $17,000. So it makes sense that it's only 5% of that. Okay. Right, that's why it's a good thing to uh, use your diagram and draw where 5% would be in relation to 100 or do your best to. 4% of the people tested for a virus <clears throat> test positive. 4% is pretty low to the bottom here. So that's 4%. If 1,200 people test positive, so 1,200 is that 4%, how many people were tested? Okay, what's the total number of people tested? So again, if you can make your diagram, then your proportion is pretty much made for you. Okay, you just have to convert it. 100 over 4 is equal to x over 1,200. Okay, remember 100 represents the total. The top always represents the total. So we get 4x equals 120,000 divided by 4. I think it's 30,000. 30,000, yeah. So how many people were tested? Therefore, 30,000 people were tested. Okay? So we've done a ton of work with percent today. We've asked the questions every which way. The diagram is really helpful. Okay? If you can get the diagram right, the rest of the question is easy. Read the question carefully so you know how to fill the numbers into the diagram. Okay. 